One reason why Allah is a false god. According to chapter 2 verse 6, we are going to find out, chapter 2 verse 6 and 7, we are going to find out that if anybody is rejecting Islam, no matter how much you reject Islam, Allah is already saying that as to those who have rejected reject faith, it is the same to them. Whether you want them or you do not want them, they will not believe. So if somebody has rejected Islam, whether you want him how many times or you do not want him, it is the same result. The person will not see believe. And because they will not believe, why? Because Allah has set a seal on their hearts and on their hearing and on their eyes. So it's a vile. So that... Uh, it's a great penalty to them. So at the end of the day, if somebody decides to reject Islam for all of his years, all of his life, and suddenly becomes a Muslim, suddenly, then what happened to the seal Allah has set on their heart? What happened to the, uh, the seal on their hearing? And what happened to the veil on their eyes that Allah himself has put? It means did he remove it? Why he had already said there is already the punishment waiting for that same person or not? So at the end of the day, there is a problem here. And what is the problem? If you reject faith, you cannot believe. Because if somebody wants to claim to be God, he has to be all-powerful and he should never contradict himself. So if he says, those who have rejected faith, they will never believe. And then we find out that there are some people that have been rejecting faith all over their life. And then suddenly, they become believers. Then the, the concept of contradiction God can never contradict himself. If God is contradicting himself, then that person claiming to be God is not God. And you will see multiple contradictions in the Quran. According to other passages in the Quran, you will see um, uh, uh, Allah himself saying that uh, he guides whom he wants to guide and he mislead whom he wants to mislead. So if he decides that this is the way he's misleading people, he's misleading them by sealing their eyes. Seal, set a seal on their hearts and then a vial on their hearing and uh, on a seal on their hearts and their hearing so that they, no matter how much talk you debate, you shout, speaker corner, you shout, you shout all about the ears, you will never believe. So if you find anybody, my dear person, my dear listener, if you have ever seen anybody who has become a Muslim who used to reject Islam, Allah is a false God. Now, I would like to tell you something. According to what is written in the Bible, we are going to see here, Allah has set a seal on their heart so that they will not believe and on their eyes so that they will not see. According to what is written in the Bible, you will see it. John 3.16 The book of John, John 3, verse 16 to 18 says the following, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. God did not send him son to condemn the world, but that the world should be saved through him, through the son, the world should be saved by him. Whosoever, whosoever, anybody who believes in the Son, anybody who believes in the Son will have eternal life. And who does not believe in the Son does not have eternal life. The Father says again in the, in the, in the Bible that He calls all men to come to repentance. The will of the Father is that all men, everybody, everybody, everyone, everyone, should come to repentance for them to have eternal life. So if you are hearing today, he who hears my voice and believes in me shall not perish, but shall have eternal life, says Jesus. So if you believe in Jesus Christ and you trust in him, you are not perishing, but you are having eternal life. And then this is somebody here in the Quran that he himself, he is doing his maximum to put a seal on the heart of people and a seal on their hearing so that they will not see and they will not hear and they will not believe and they will die and go to hell. And then he already says, the great, great is the penalty that they will, they will put. Other verses is even saying that, that uh, they are going to be served as the fuel for hellfire. 
the fuel just imagine fuel petroleum kerosene that is going to be the fuel for hellfire for hellfire so it's just like wood that you're putting into fire so that it should burn more and cook whatsoever you want to cook on the fire you're just putting the wood there to be activating the fuel and that's going to be the human beings that are going to be sent in fire to get that punishment repent from islam surrender your life to christ and you'll be saved stay blessed